back, relax and maybe get yourself a snack Me and you gonna have a little chat about books Hey guys, so I am here today to talk to you guys a little bit about book clubs and this comes because recently I have started two different book clubs one book club I started whilst I was at work and the other book club I started in my general area once we moved into this house and I didn't really know that many people in the area and there wasn't a science fiction and fantasy book club in my area. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about how the book clubs have been going and what I found as i had been going through and just kind of give you a little insight into the books we've been reading as well. So let's just get started with the one that I started in my town. The town that we moved to was quite a way away from the place that we were living before. It's at least an hour and we kind of don't go back to my hometown, which is where we moved from, that often anymore. And so we have a lot of friends who come to us because we have a house and they love hanging out here. Um, but we don't really go back to my hometown too often and so I was kind of feeling a little bit like I wanted some friends a bit more local, friends that I could go out with and just hang out with over a coffee or a cake or whatever and I was also feeling a bit like I just wanted some friends local to me who read books because my friends who do read um, are not that close to me anymore and I just wanted someone bit closer to chat about books with and a book club has always seemed like a great idea. The town I used to live in I did go to one book club there but I found that it really wasn't the right book club for me because although I went to I think two meetings um, I just didn't like the book choices that they were reading at that one and I decided that the best way to get the book choice you like or at least you hope you like is to set one up yourself and I use an app which is called Meetup. Um, I've been using this app for about three years now for various things. It's a really good app and this is not sponsored or anything, I just like the app. Um, <laughs> but the app is called Meetup and you can get it free and it just tells you all the stuff that's going on with the local clubs in your area and I've been using that app for my social charity group, which I'm part of, which is called Rotaract. Um, that group is how I actually met my fiance, Steve, and it's kind of the reason I started using the Meetup app. But when I was using that app, I found out there's a lot of local book clubs in the area, a lot of different things around. Um, but when I moved to this town where we are now, that really wasn't the case. Um, in fact, there was a book club, but it just didn't sound like my kind of thing. And there was definitely nothing sort of sci-fi and fantasy on there. So I decided I'd just set up my own club. And I did this with the intention of knowing that if all else failed, Steve would come with me to the club and we could both talk about the book. So I was lucky in that I had a partner who I knew would come. Um, so even if it was just us two, it would be okay. But thankfully, when I put the group out there, I chose a book which I thought would be quite a good one, quite an accessible, easy one, fairly current, so a lot of people might have seen it around. And that book that I chose to start the book club with was this one, Space Opera, which you can see I have tabbed so much, which I don't usually do tabbing, but I was a bit nervous with my first book. I didn't know how many people were going to come. I didn't know if anyone was actually going to show up, but I thought it's better to be prepared. So I went through this book and as I went through I was tabbing it as I went and kind of writing down some of my thoughts as I went so that if it came to the book club and we did get quite a few people turn up I'd be able to actually have something to remember the book and the characters and everything and just kind of bring it fresh to my mind. Now as the case turns out I put this meetup on meetup and I ended up having about six of us to the first meeting which was a really great turnout for a book club that's only just started and of those six thankfully two of them were me and Steve but the other four have all continued to be members who come each time so that's really exciting and some of the people are wonderful people who I would probably not have met had I not started this book club but who are local and who could easily given time become really really good friends of ours so I'm really happy I started it and I'm also really glad I chose space opera to start the book club with because this was a bit of a controversial one in that the writing style is very Marmite I would say um I would say that a lot of people don't like Catherine M. Valenti's work because she does have quite 
weird tangents that she goes on while she's writing. It feels sometimes as though her books can be a little bit all over the place and they don't really have a huge focus on a particular thing. They can sort of swerve all over. And this one is definitely one of those books. But in terms of sitting down with a book group, a group of people who love reading and discussing it, I think we had a really good discussion concerning this book. There was a lot to sink your teeth into, a lot to get behind the characters or hate the characters about and it was just a really interesting concept because it's a light-hearted story it's very easy to get into it kind of has that Douglas Adams feel um sort of very light-hearted whimsy and yet there are some deeper undertones if you go a bit darker as well and it was really really fun to sit down with everyone and talk about this book um because I don't read that much sci-fi but what I have read. It was an interesting one. And yeah, it was a really good start book. So if you are planning to start a science fiction and fantasy book club, I would say this one is definitely an interesting choice. And it's one that could be read by a lot of people and enjoyed by a lot of people. So definitely think about this as an option. I've then had uh, one more meeting since then and I've got another meeting coming up next week for the science fiction and fantasy book club. At the first meeting we decided we would all be allowed to vote and we made a little Facebook chat for anyone who joins the club where we can just chat about books and we can just chat about what is coming up with the club and we decided we would alternate between sci-fi and fantasy each month. So as the first month was sci-fi with space opera the second month was going to be fantasy and I didn't exactly nominate this book, but I'm really happy the others heard me rave about it and decided they would like to read it because it meant I got to reread Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, which as many of you guys know, Robin Hobb is my favourite author. She has been for a long time now. And this is the first book in her Farsia trilogy, which is the very starting place for the realm of the Eldlings. And I was so excited to go back and reread this book. It's been a long, long time since I read the first one in the series and I really enjoyed it especially now knowing what I do and where the story goes. Rereading this book was emotional and wonderful all at once for me. However I was nervous because this is one of my favourite series ever of all time and I hoped that everyone would like it but I wasn't sure and I'm really glad to say that everyone who turned up really enjoyed the book and we got to have a great discussion. Now, side note to this, I was also at my work Christmas party just before we had the book club meetup for this book. And therefore, I was smashed royally, completely drunk when I went to this book meetup, which I apologise profusely for um, because I had not intended to get as drunk as I did. But work Christmas do, lots of free alcohol, what are you going to do? It's the one time of year where I kind of let my hair down and it was great fun. The work party was great and the book club itself was also great but obviously I was a little bit out of it. So thank goodness this was my favourite book of all time or at least in the favourite series of all time because I don't think I'd have been able to discuss cohesively any other series at the point of how tipsy slash drunk I was. Um, I hope the others will come back for the next month because I hope I did not make too much of a fool of myself. Steve said I didn't so thankfully that's good. <laughs> but anyway it was definitely fun and I loved chatting to everyone about it. I do remember it so I can't have been that drunk um, but I was definitely tipsy for sure and it was so much fun to hear everyone's theories about where the story is going to go. Obviously I didn't want to give anything away because I know where it goes but I did want them to pick up the next books in the series and I think some of them have done that so I'm really excited to hear their thoughts as they continue the series as well beyond just this first book. So that was really really nice. Now the next book that we are reading which I've just finished this morning actually um, and again this one is a reread for me and that book is this one The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Now I read this book when it very first well even before it came out actually because I got this advanced reader copy and I loved it and I thought it was fantastic and so original and so different and I really really enjoyed this storyline and I've now read this book three times because the first book club I mentioned that I joined in my hometown, which I didn't really like, one of the books they did read was one that I suggested, which was this one. So I had actually reread the book for that book club a long time ago, but I found that when I came to discussing it with that book group, they weren't really sci-fi and fantasy readers. They just didn't find those genres that exciting. And so they didn't really love the book. Now, I'm hoping 
because this is a sci-fi and fantasy book club, a lot more people will enjoy it and read it and love it this time round when I talk to them next week about this book. I, on my third reread, really enjoyed it. I definitely think there's still stuff that kind of props up new each time you read it. And I think there's a lot to love about the people and the characters and the aliens in this story who are all individual, very, very beautiful characters. It is a story that I think feels a little bit bitty in places because I think originally they were short stories or ideas of characters that Becky Chambers has kind of woven together over time. But I really love it. And I know as the series goes on, each of the standalones in the Wayfarer series get better and better. And I loved this book. And I, again, loved it on my third reread as well. So I'm very excited to chat to the group about this book when we have our meeting next week. And of course, I will let you guys know how the book club is going. If you're interested in kind of hearing a bit more about it, um, what books we choose or anything like that, I'd love to keep you guys updated. So let me know. And then the other book club that I started, which I actually haven't had a meeting yet. Again, this meeting for the first meetup of that book club is next week. They're both on the same day, so I'm going to have a really bookish day, but I'm not unhappy about that. And um, this book club, the work book club, I wanted to make it a lot more general because I know a lot of people that I work with, we all work in the book industry. We work in uh, law and economics titles. I'm a senior desk editor and digital specialist. That is my job. And so I work in editorial and I work with books all day, every day. So I didn't want to make my work book club feel like work. I wanted it to be fun, but I didn't want it to be sci-fi and fantasy because I already have the sci-fi and fantasy book club outside of work. And I know a lot of the people who I work with are not sci-fi and fantasy readers. They just read generally. They like contemporary, historical, anything really. So I wanted to keep this really open and just see what books people would suggest. But we needed a starting point. And so I wanted a book that would be controversial and exciting, but also a very easy read and one that anyone could find anywhere from a library, from a bookshop, whatever. And that book that I chose was Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Now, it has been years and years and years since I read this story. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it as much as I remember liking it when I was a kid. In fact, I remember liking this story so much that I'm pretty sure I first listened to it on audio cassette when cassettes were a thing from my local library. And I'm pretty sure I took it out of my local library a lot as a child or a teenager, I should say, because I really, really fell in love with this story. This is a story about two people who are from very different class backgrounds. We have Sefi, who is a cross, which means she is black. And we have Callum, who is a nought, who is white. And in this world that they live in, it is incredibly divided by racial stereotypes and racial divides. The white people are the ones who serve the black people and they are completely treated as way worse than second class citizens. They are essentially slaves who are paid. And it's a really harsh world that these two grow up in. And yet they are the best of friends as kids. And later on, they turn into lovers as well. And the story follows their adventure as they try to fight back against the system, which is so oppressive and horrible to them. And there are so many things that children should not have to face that come up in this story. There is abuse, there is abduction, there are accusations of rape, there are all sorts of things that happen in this. So it is a very trigger heavy book. But with that being said, it is also one that I think is going to be really fantastic to sit down and discuss, especially with people who maybe haven't read books for a long time or people who just want something to get together and chat about over lunch, which is kind of what this book club is. And I think it'll be fun. So I'm hoping everyone at work has read it and that a lot of them are going to enjoy reading it and talking about it. Um, and I'll find out next week. And again, I can also feed back on this one about some of the choices we make. I think this will be a much more general book club. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what I end up reading next month for that one as well. So yeah, this was my sit down and chat to you about book clubs video. Um, It's not something I've ever really ventured massively into before this last few months, but I'm really enjoying it, especially sort of meeting up with people in real life and just sitting and chatting. It's so nice. Obviously, I love this channel and I love being able to chat to you guys, but there's something very tangible about sitting down with 
someone in real life and being able to talk about the book that you're both holding in front of you and flick to pages and I love that so I'm definitely going to try my best to keep these two book clubs going and I'm hoping that they will just continue to go from strength to strength. We have had quite a few new people joining the sci-fi and fantasy one and I hope that a lot of the work people will come back each time as well. So of course I'll let you know if you're interested. I'd also love to know if you guys are in any book clubs, what sort of books do you tend to read for a book club? If you have any suggestions please do leave them below whether it's general or whether it's sci-fi and fantasy because I now have two book clubs that I'm kind of in charge of and I need to choose great books for us to read. So if you guys can let me have recommendations I would love that and I will say if you can join a local book club I would highly recommend it. It's a great laugh and a great load of fun and you can make some really good friends from it and I hope you guys um, get the opportunity and if there's not one in your area why don't you start one like me try the meetup app and see if you can start your own nearby because I think it's great thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video bye guys thank you for watching my video today go pick up a book then come back and chat with me again